<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen! You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. Last time we left off, we were doing more side quests, and in this episode, more side quests. I'm thinking that today is going to be the last side quest video of this chapter, or at least I'll I get more quests later down the road. Uh, maybe in this chapter or next one, whatever. But we're almost starting the story, but uh, I figured I'd show you guys what I've been doing a little bit off screen. I built a few places, uh, mainly things I, like I know I want to do research in, so like the the experts uh, training ground, or like the officers training ground, and the Evermore barracks, the elite barracks, and I think also the explorers guild. So I'm doing some research there to help me help me out. I also built the Institute of Higher Innovation because there's no reason to have this anymore because I did all the uh, I did all the um, research requ required for it. So Andy is definitely helping a lot, or Andrew, uh, regarding <clears throat> getting this up and going. I also upgraded the mining camp number five because. I think when you, when you upgrade to level 2, that's when the Dream Prisms are available to be mined. Now, you'll see it has a 4-star, I guess, rarity? So it may take some time before I actually get a Dream Prism. But what's nice is... Um, it's, a, it's a pretty large uh, store. It's at 450. So, I can let this run for a while. We see we got Sunset Prism and Red Prism. We'll, we'll have it keep running, you know, uh, but for the time being, I'll, I'll just have to wait on it. And the money, you know, I could grab some more out now and then research more things, but I think I'm alright for the time being. Uh, I just want to show you guys kind of what I had. Although, it looks like another side quest opened up. This is probably due to one of the uh, new people I got, so who is this actually? Oh, is this Oz? Yeah, that, okay. Ah, uh, there you are, your majesty. Majesty, I've been looking for you. I have an important message to give you. A message? Who's it from? Yes. From Broadleaf Incorporated. They're, they, they're inviting you to take part in an event to unveil their latest invention. Oh. Oh, that sounds fun. I'll head over there right away. Oh, there's one more thing before you go. Apparently, they want you to help test their new robots. Mm -hmm. Test them? How exactly? <laughs> that I don't know. Sorry, but they sound pretty cool. People are saying they're going to change the world. Wish I could tell you more, but I'm sure they'll fill you in the details once you get over there. Mm. Alright, I look forward to learning more. Thanks for letting me know, Oz. So it seems like we're going to have another um, skirmish. Sequoia? Sequoia Valley? Where's that at? I'm assuming right next to Broadleaf. Yeah, so it's an area we haven't really visited ourselves just yet. But I do want to go to Broadleaf because there's a... I think there's like two side quests I can do right now. Like one with a gardener and the other one I got. I just got to deliver a package to Chip. Um, I figured I'll be, you know, good to have. Hmm. I just don't get it. Why won't these trees grow? We've been giving them all the right nutrients, just like we're supposed to. Are you having some trouble, then? Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess so. It's these trees. There's something wrong with them. We grew them to try and deal with the air pollution problem, but that little plant doesn't seem to be going so great. I just can't figure out what the problem mm. is. Don't worry, I know someone who can help. He knows, he knows everything about plants. Really? Oh, man, you gotta introduce me to this guy. I'm going crazy trying to figure out what's going, what's wrong here. I'll go and talk to him right away. I won't be long. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. So, we just simply had to go talk to the guy again. Which, we'll do. Sure, I can take the elevator, but... Why? Well, I can take a trip door. And the loading isn't... It's weird. The loading isn't super bad, maybe? Like, in between, like, the trip door sequences. But sometimes, like... Sometimes the loading can take quite a while, like, especially going from my like, chapter to chapter or like various cutscenes. I'm like, hmm, this is uh, this is fun, just waiting around. But 
that might be me me being spoiled because I have an SSD installed on my computer, so that's where I install my games on, and it runs fast. Me likey. Good news! I found someone with a plot problem who needs Thank your help. You. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Apparently, they've been planting trees everywhere to try and improve the quality of the air, but it hasn't quite worked as they hoped. Oh, then the solution is simple. They just need to plant some breath easy and breathe easy. Breathe easy? Yes. That's right. Those little beauties love dirty air. In fact, they suck it right up and then turn it into clean air, which they pump back into the atmosphere. Really? That's incredible! It certainly is. It sounds like the perfect plant for the situation. Now, where was it that they grow again? Ah, yes, that, w that was it. Spine Shiver Grove, over there in the Heartlands. All right. Well, I'd better go and fetch one then, hell and I. Very much. If you could, that would be perfect. Just let me know who, who it was that needed one before you go, and I'll go and find them and explain everything. Uh, do I even have that? I do not. Spine Shiver Grove, though, is... We've been there. Unfortunately, there's no trip door to get there. Um... So it's gonna require a little bit of walking, which... You know what? Usually I would cut this out. Oh... I'm gonna wait off. I, I'm so t Trust me, guys, I am tempted. Don't get me wrong. I, I want to, but... Um... I feel if I do that, it's gonna do something to the story, and it's like, I'm, I'm just not looking to do that right now. Um... <clears throat> in this video. I'm gonna do whatever side quests I can get done today, and then I'll go ahead and um, yeah, I'll call it. I'll call the video. Actually, you know what? Because I'm right here, I'm assuming this is gonna be a very easy tainted boss fight. So I didn't even see what level it was. Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This, this should be piece of cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then Oscar and I also, um... Crap, Oscar and I also, um... Got the best weapons, or, like, equipped, like, whatever the best items were currently. For my team, so... There's that. That's why I, I, I look like I took a lot of damage, because, uh... I didn't heal up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that actually might be a decent way to level up now. I should probably find the weak, um, tainted enemies and maybe fight them. I'll think about it. Um, come on. There you go. That's a comedy coral. It's like, you know what? I, I would have went with it. It's like, sure, yeah, comedy coral. Comedy coral. That sounds like it fits in the world of Nino Kuni. <sighs> All right. Now let's see. There is a. Okay. I w I would have been surprised. I mean, I actually, I would not have been surprised if there was a quest in here because that's where Helena, the hunter, was. Like either there or Moggy May, one of the two. They were right there. Um. And it's I had I didn't I haven't bothered to check these areas again or these dungeons to see if there's any more, uh, quests. So. I'm sure there's a bunch I'm missing. Don't get me wrong, but... I, I was primarily focused on getting the ones that are, like, out in the open right here, right now, we can do. Um, and maybe later on, like, maybe when I'm reaching the end, I may look up where to find the rest of the, uh... the, uh, quests, and I may just do it like that. I mean, maybe it's considered cheating, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And now let's go back to Dome Park. I also got to remember to find Chip. I got to deliver that uh, thing to him and bring him to my town. Hmm. I guess we must have picked the wrong tree, huh? We're going to need to try to plant something else here if we want to clean up the air around here. Uh, oh, I guess I'll give it to you. There you go. Yeah. Your friend told me everything. This is a plant that's going to eat up all the bad air, right? That's right. Plant a few of those, and they'll, they'll, you'll solve all your problems at a stroke. Make sure you put them in a shady place, though. They don't like too much sun. 
You got it! I'll do just that! You know, I could really use somebody with your kind of ex expertise. Would you be interested in coming to work for me? I mean, the pollution around here is getting worse and worse, and most broadly, for don't know how to fix anything that doesn't have an off switch. Are you... Are you offering me a job? Oh, goodness! Uh, I'd come to love... I'd love to come to work with you! That would be wonderful, uh... But you do know that I'm not... I'm no good at machines, don't you? <laughs> don't worry about that. I'll take care of all the tech stuff. You just bring your nature knowledge, okay? Thank you very much. Oh, absolutely! Thank you! I really must thank you for all you did for me. I'd never have landed this job without your help. Mm. Oh, it was nothing, honestly. I'm just glad you finally got the chance to show everyone what you can do. All right. Me too. I can't wait to get started. Oh, look, I got him an employment! I guess if I didn't open that chest in the factory floors, now would have been a great time to get Tiller. But, um, whatever. So, takes care of that. Now, let's find... Um... Working on that I, I Maybe I can try some of these tainted ones, I'm not really sure. Ooh, and the delivery robot one. Okay, well... Let's deliver the package of chip, wherever the hell he's at. Uh, well... I'm not really sure where it wants me to go. Hold on here. I guess Midtown. It's weird, because I could have sworn I checked the maps, and it just kept pointing to the, uh... It kept pointing to the, uh... Oh, no, no, maybe not. I guess I missed it there. I thought it was pointing to the elevator, but nope. I probably could have done this quest, like, way earlier, just to get Chip on my, uh, as a citizen, but... So be it. And there he is. And if my theory's right, then the results of the algorithm can be reverse applied to the values from the... Hello. Hello there. I'm looking for a magical researcher called Chip. Do you know where he might be? Whoa. Huh? Guess it must be your first day in a job. I'm Chip. Your chip? Gosh, I mean, well, it's just, being a magical researcher and everything, I thought you'd be, well, a grown-up. Ha, luckily not everybody here at Brawley Incorporated is as narrow-minded as you. Around here, they say that if you're smart enough, you're old enough. Then you must be very smart indeed. We must be about the same age. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess so. But I wouldn't get too jealous if I were you. Most people seem to think I'm a decent researcher, but I'm not sure anybody thinks I'm a decent person. Not that I care about what those idiots think of me. I know I'm a genius, and I know they're not. See ya. Anyway, we've chatted long enough. Regular kids like you may not have anything better to do, but geniuses like me are always busy. What? Oh, but I came in to give you something. I met a robot who was having some trouble delivering this package, so I said I'd... <laughs> What? what? Why didn't you say so? Just give it here, now! Uh, Alright, here you go. Jerk. Here it is, at last! This is the most important package anybody's ever received, and that's no exaggeration! Now I only need some Oasis Wonder Water, and my research will be pretty much complete. Of course, there's no question of me leaving this office to get some, so... Me? Hey. It would be a huge honor for you. I bet you've never helped a genius before. So go, go get some Oasis Wonder Water. Do I have Oasis Wonder Water? Two jars. No, I do have them. Like, give the. Hey. So what is this? Give? That means I, I got already. Are you still here? I need some Oasis Wonder Water for my research. Get moving. Yeah, pff, 32. Here. Hi. What took you so long? Boy, I didn't even move an inch. I barely moved an inch of any. <laughs> you better have what I asked for. Mm. I think I do. This is what you needed, isn't it? My piston it. That's why it's that color. Excellent. This is exactly what I need. Now I can finally finish up my groundbreaking research. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, wait. Before you go, I, I guess I underestimated you. I really didn't think you'd bring me what I needed. 
Maybe you're not like all the other idiots around here after all. No, you're definitely more used than most. Which is why I want you to do me another favor. Hmm? You want me to go fetch you something else? You catch on quick. That's exactly what I want. Give me three dark crystals, will you? That would really put the cherry on top of my research cake. All right. Three dark crystals? All right. I'll see what I can do, Chip. I'm pretty sure I, I have those crystals already. Of course, one time I, I got like five in one batch. Hmm? I thought I'd ask you to go give me three dark crystals. Yeah, here you go. Huh. Amazing! Now all the pieces are in place for a giant leap into the future. The next-gen smart stake is almost upon us. Gosh. That sounds exciting. It is. Very. The next stick will be a way smaller than the current iteration and way tougher, too. The storage capacity will be enough th be will be through the roof. And yeah, why not? I'll look way better to boot. It'll look, not me. The history of the smart stick's been shaped by geniuses, but I'm not just the latest in a long line. I'm the greatest of them all, greater even than Zip Vector himself. I'm sure you are, Chip. My research is pretty much complete already. I just need to compile my data and share it with everybody, and my work will be done. Man, I thought this day would never come! I guess the question now I've, I'm done at last is what do I do next? Hmm. Well, you could always try moving to my kingdom. Oh, Oh, I get it. You're trying to headhunt head hunt me. Well, don't think you're the first. Hmm. I'm sure I'm not, but we'd really love to have you, Chip. We could do a brain like yours. Come on, it'll be fun! I promise everyone will make you very welcome. W wow, uh, uh, people aren't usually that straight up with me. Or that nice. <laughs> You're taking me by surprise here. But I guess my work at Broadleaf is kind of done now. I'll always be grateful to them for giving me my big break and all, but... Thank you! Yeah, oh crap, I pushed X on accident. Oh, Chip, that's wonderful! Thank you so much! Nice, and he is good to work at the Dimensional Lab, which... Huh, I think I did all the stuff I could at the, the regular Dimensional Lab, but I gotta build a new one. But you better make it, my, make it worth my while, you hear? Us geniuses don't come cheap, yeah. <laughs> okay, good, good, good for you, Chip. Good for you. Um, so that takes care of that. Let me see what other quests I have open. Dream Prisms, I gotta wait on. I gotta talk to the soldiers. I, this one, I, I just gotta make this Higgledy. I have no idea how. Bring the Higgledy who's friends with a mermaid princess. And it's like, I would imagine a, somewhere in a Hydro, Hydropolis or something or another. I have no idea. But maybe there's lore in the Higgledy that explains, like, the type of... That explains the type of Higgles I can make and... Maybe one of them talks about Mermaid Princess, so I'll see. Um, all right, let's uh, let's try the delivery robot one. Actually, is that it's on par with? It's actually this is actually weaker if I do this one. Hmm. What? Whatever. Um, first off, where do I go for this? Oh, to the left there. But I'm going to go back to Evermore. Just so I can, um... I'll see what... If there's anything left in the Dimensional Lab. If, if not, I gotta make a... I gotta buy a new one. The research has been completed, so that's good. Uh, let's see, what the hell... What, what was I even researching? Is it down here? Here we go. Complete research. This one is ultimate resource gathering, which it allows them to it speeds up item accumulation. So that's that's pretty nice. But this one's gonna be even better. This lowers build cost by 30%. So that's why I'm kind of waiting on now on building some of the new things. I probably should have done that way first, like first, but. Here is the first dimensional lab we have, and we'll see that I have all the research already completed. There's another one I can build right here, which would be, which would be perfect for um, 
Chip to work at, and a couple other people too. A lot of them for the spell works, because there's really not much I can do here until I, uh... Leander needs to be a master of tactical wizardry to do even that one, and these I don't even have... I don't even have, um... people with, that, with those skills. So... I usually just bring these two... I bring whoever is good at the spell works, I bring them to the Dimensional Lab, because they have, like, that magic stat that I need. So I'll hold off on building the Dimensional Lab until this is done. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a while, but I think it's gonna be worth it, so I save a little bit of money. And this one... it's almost done. And what, what even was I researching here? Enables... Perfectly efficient formations that result in a much bigger might gauge. So this would be perfect for my skir upcoming skirmishes. Um. Well, any anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and see what. Damn it! I was gonna see if I got my dream prisms. Not yet. But you know, we we still have chances. I'm tempted just to should I just wait? Like an extra minute until this is done, so when I'm out and about, I can just uh, get the other research going along. At this point, I might as well. It's literally going to be like a minute or something, so I apologize if we're not really doing anything right now, but I think these, I think these past three videos were kind of signifying the same thing, so I, I, think, I think we're all... I think we're all okay. <laughs> we'll survive. How much longer on this one, though? I could boost a research, and I mean... I know before I was like saying, Oh, look, money, I'm throwing, throwing it around. And it's like, yeah, but at the same time, this stuff is really expensive. I have barely even upgraded many of my uh, buildings yet. And I have, obviously haven't built anything, but much. I, only, I built a few out of the uh, 64 that I need, so... It's like, oh, now I'm biting the bullet. Or, um, you know, I'm kind of, like, uh, kicking myself in the butt a little bit. But it's fine. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do Ultimate Shock Tactic. So apparently we get healed or something. The Ultimate Shock Tactic where we get healed. So that'll be going. Everything else I'll hold off on. Look at that. 78,000. I, I was like, how many million was I at before? Close to two? But what's nice is, like, my coffer's not even halfway full, and we're almost, like, at 350,000, so I'm okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, that was not the right... That was not the right trip door. That was more to the left. So yeah, that's... That's not what I need. So what, what, what would be best? Do I... Calmlands? I could have sworn... There must be a trip door. I, obviously there's trip doors I missed. There has to be. Um, I feel like there would, there would be another one... That's closer to... Where I need it, honestly, but... Yeah, it's fine. I'm... Thankf I'm super thankful that we have that... Uh, skill... That allows us to walk faster in the overworld. The first game had it too, and it was so great. What the hell? That was a weird ass honk. Of, uh, it's like, okay, you you calm down, sir. Beep beep boo. Please, you have to help me. Price is going to have us reprogrammed if we're late. Boop boop boop. We've got a super important cargo to deliver, but the only route that will get us there to our destination goes right through bandit territory. Beep beep, but we can't just stay here. We'll never get another delivery job again. Say, you look like you can handle yourself. Would you mind coming with us to keep us safe along the way? Mm. As a matter of fact, we were looking for you anyway. Price was wondering where his delivery had got to. You don't need to worry. We'll escort you. You and your cargo are safe with us. Boop boop! Thank you, thank you from the bottom of our memory banks. We're all set to leave whenever, so just say the word, okay? Ah. So? Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is going to be nothing but skirmishes, apparently. We have three now that I need to do. We'll see how this goes. What level are we recommending here? 
Hell, 17? Hell yeah, I got I got this. Obviously, you guys know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Gonna freaking bolster my forces, make this a little bit easier for myself. Boop, 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 boop. And, you know, even though I don't have as many King Gilders, like, the kind of like, like, go bloop, you know, squander, I'll still be okay. I would rather have, um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I can always get my money. Uh, mobilize and, uh, begin. So, this is gonna suck. This is an escort mission. Maybe that's why it's like, oh, yeah, it's level 17. I got this. And it's like, yeah, but it's an escort mission. So, that's gonna be not fun. <laughs> but, whatever. Uh, okay, so far, so good. Good job. I don't know why, like, they just freaking run all in front of me. It's like, could you guys not? There we go. I, I, actually, no, so let's not build that. Hello. Kill them, damn it, come on. Oh my god. Why are they just running out there, you idiots? Like that that's what frightens me. Alright, so there's nothing to do. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I'm being ruined somehow or another. Uh oh, oh man, there's more. Floppy's <laughs> like, I oh, so many words I don't understand. Okay, good. Are everybody happy now? Uh, come on, destroy, destroy. I know this commentary isn't very riveting. I apologize. I'm not really sure what else to say about these freaking uh, uh, skirmishes anymore. What the flip? I was like, "What do you mean? Where am I going?" I'm like, "It tells me. Here's the plot." Ah. Uh. So wait a minute. He still needs to go to Captain Upon Hall, so is there anything else we gotta do? We won! Hooray! I still feel like I'm missing something else. I feel, I feel like there's more to this. Because the thing is, they still gotta go... They gotta, stay, they gotta sail a long time, and then they gotta get to Brawlleaf, and there's still a lot of things in the way. Oh well. Um... We'll, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen right now. Beep, beep, boop. You saved my friends. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm just glad that Price will get his delivery at last. Boop, boop. Oh, no. Price must be super mad. He hates his stuff being late. We'll need to find a safer route next time. If there is a next time after this. Beep, beep, boop. We better head for Broadway right away. Make sure to drop by sometime, okay? Price is going to want to thank you after what you did. Mm. All right, we'll do that. Be careful on your way back, won't you? So what? Do they do? Just want us to talk to him? Okay. I. Hmm. I'll say I can do that. I'm just curious to know what level this wyvern is. It's like, oh, I'm right here. Might as well try. Actually, wait a minute. What what level or not? I mean, hold on. I, I have some sore ways I can give him. There you go. Feel a little bit better about that. What level are you at? <clears throat> we'll go for it. Why not? Now I'm getting cocky. You guys can't tell. Like, oh, I got this. I mean, 
see, you can see that he's dead. So <laughs> I have a good reason to be cocky. Okay, cool, cool. And I guess this is where we get all the tainted or cursed items is from these. Well, I guess it makes sense from the tainted monsters, right? Cool. All right. I'm still thinking maybe I should leave. Uh, leave the uh, tainted monsters for like a, a special episode toward the end of the LP. It's like, hey guys, like this whole entire episode, I'm just gonna do nothing but kill all the tainted monsters because I'm super high leveled now. Um. We'll see about that. <laughs> At the same time, it's like, yeah, and if I'm already here, I guess I could just kill them. Oh, wait a minute, where does it want me to go? I guess Midtown. So that sucks. It's like, there's a trip door in the entrance, there's a trip door uh, in Dome Park in, in uh, Uptown, but nothing Midtown. Midtown's like, screw you guys. We don't, we don't need you. Hi. Hey, there you are. Delivery bots told me about what what you did. Sounds like those bandits were would have gotten away with our cargo if it wasn't for you. Mm. Oh, I'm just glad everything found its way to you in the end. I hope you'll be able to get on with with your work now. Hey, listen, Evan, is it? Thanks for helping me, helping out with this. I know you got your own stuff going on. I'd love to give you a little something for your trouble, but I gotta run. Everything's a little late already as it is. Oh, it's fine. You don't need to give me anything. I don't think he was planning to, honestly. Thanks. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, there. All done. Thanks, Evan. We have been in big trouble without you. Hey, I can't remember if I introduced myself, by the way. Uh, the name's Price. I'm a trader. And being a trader, I'm pretty interested in what kinds of goods are being around in other countries. Which is why I've been thinking of paying your kingdom a little visit. Say, how about I pay my debt back that way? I'll come to your kingdom and work out, work out there for a while. Ah! That would be lovely, print Price. Uh, wouldn't, I couldn't ask for a better reward. Oh. I forgot he was going to be a citizen. So, he, oh yeah, business sense. He boosts the bazaar's productivity. Cool. And there's new posts. Huh. Wait, so he took this, uh... He took this picture? Okay. Now. What else do we got? I guess I can do the other two, um... Skirmishes. Which one is... Yeah, okay. So... Secure Valley. I obviously haven't been there. I really haven't investigated the area... Outside of Broadleaf... Too much? Um, but then again, I don't know if I can. I feel like I might need an airship to kind of get into, like, the icy areas and the dry lands area. But, you guys know, I'm just gonna save that for later. Alright. Oh, crap, I forgot how to do this again. <laughs> I remember I was, I was, like, so damn confused how to do it initially. I'm like, but I, and I thought this was gonna be a big-ass dungeon at first, but thankfully that was not the case. Um... All right. See, these monsters are still pretty damn bad up here, but it could be a good grinding spot, honestly, if I needed it. Actually, hold on a minute. I mean, it's working. It's nice when everybody has their MP because they just go crazy with their uh, uh, with their magic, which isn't. It's not great that you should do. I mean, I, I can, I'm can. i sure I can set up tactics where it's like, you know, use MP wisely, fight wisely, whatever, but a lot of times I kind of don't care. I'm like, just do what you gotta do, and I'll be fine, you know? And we got another robot that he's talking to. Great. Beep, beep, boop. Welcome to the Broadleaf King Evan. Thanks for agreeing to take part in our event today. Beep beep, we're also going to start the test whenever you're ready. Captain Smith will be commanding the robot forces. Um, the robot forces? Would you mind asking, or would you mind me asking what exactly this test involves? 
I thought I was coming to see exciting new technology being unveiled. Boop boop. Oh, you sure are. Our new mechanoid units are so powerful they're going to be pretty much put an end to war. Nobody's going to take the battlefield ever again once they've seen what these babies can do. Boop boop. We just need to put them through their paces before we go to market, that's all. Which is why we invited you. Who else could give them the challenge they need, right? What? This is the first I've heard about my any battle. Boop boop boop. Incoming transmission from Captain Smith. Congratulations on having been chosen to put the latest iteration of our Battlefield Mechanoid range through its paces in Indy's final pre-production tests. Prepare for the fight of your life! Beep boop boop. Message received loud and clear. Guess you better get ready. Golly. I didn't- I don't think they're gonna take no for an answer. Boop beep. A quick word of advice before you hit the field. As ever, our robotic units specialize in long-range attacks, but these new units are pretty formidable up close too. I'm not sure I like the sound of this at all. And we're all set. Just let me know when you're ready to roll out. Beep, 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 boop. Yeah, this one sounds kind of tough. Um, I'll give it a shot. Level 28. And like, well, our forces are level 26, 27. So... We'll, we'll be on par. You know, like this is... Really not much else we can do here, so... Oh man, their enemy might is huge as well, holy crap. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Let's just give myself a little advantage. Yeah, so we're 27. Oh lord. The Captain Smith's units are all... Hard-hitting bastards, damn. These guys can take down, I'm a Borgman. Uh, these are ranged so I can attack anybody here. I'm gonna need my sword, so Chingus' armory is gonna... This is gonna be fun. Let's just uh, let's we'll just go for it, guys. I can't even imagine how this is gonna go, but uh, I haven't saved in a while either. That's fine. Even even if I lose here, I just gain the experience from killing whatever enemy was around here, and that's that's that. All right, to arms. Oh, and they got they got a command post too. I can just totally get rid of. Uh, that was fine. Don't let them get away. Kill them. Alright. And we'll destroy this. And we'll go ahead and uh, use that for ourselves. Thank you very much. Again. We got a lot of these posts. Uh oh. Yeah, this. Oh, oh, I was using the wrong... I was using the wrong group. Okay, first off, we go here. I... Hold on, man, I need... You guys destroyed the spears. Man, that was bad. I was simply just getting confused. I'm like, wait a minute, which unit was what again? I know that the, the triangle thing is up there on the top left. Or top right, and I was just like, nope. Totally blanking for a second. Oh, a I don't even know what the hell he said, I missed it. It's fine, it's fine. We we got we got we got we got a lot still. Oh, come on. Oh wait, back off. Alright, here we go. Let's go in this again. So let's use No 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 no. Come on! Spear units, come on, there you go. Destroy these bastards. Thank you. Keep the, I keep thinking something's wrong with my game anytime I hear that. It's like, beep. I'm like, um, hello? Okay, good. Oh, actually, not, not so good. Fix that a little bit. Okay, good, good, good. Because these people are pissing me off. Come on. Let's destroy this. And this. Come on, just build it. Why can't you guys just attack while I'm doing something? Why do I gotta do it for you? Come on. Oh, 
there's you know what there's a lot going on here so <laughs> holy crap all right maybe i all right i probably shouldn't have just ran in here <laughs> i think i'm okay yeah maybe i'm fine that, that wasn't the smartest tactic, what I did there, but... Thank you so much, uh, I, I did it. I'm okay still. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting worried there. I'm like, uh, you know, at the same time, anytime, like, all those other units where they're, like, ranged or magic, I just throw any any of my attacking units on them. It's like, you know what, just here. I don't think there's anything better or worse against it. Just fight. And, you know, we'll take things from there, but we're okay. Boom, boom. Well, this wasn't supposed to happen. All our projections said we were going to blow you to bits. Hmm. Hmm. That wasn't exactly what I was expecting either. Boom, beep, beep. Still, this is why we run these tests. To find flaws in the system so we can fix them up. Beep, boop. In fact, we hold them pretty regularly. If you ever feel like taking part again, just let me know. Good to know, buddy. Don't plan on doing it unless I want to upgrade my... my, uh, units, which... I'm okay for now. So, uh, yeah, see, like, I guess we could go up there. Whoa, what the hell is that? It's like an abandoned ship or something. So there doesn't seem to be any, like, towns situated in this this area, other than permafrost, permafrost plains and these areas. I don't know. Kind of the same thing with the dry lands, like... So there is an oasis, but there really isn't anything else, per se. And a wallowing hole. Okay. So, interesting. Alright. What else can we do? I keep pushing the wrong button. I'll never stop doing that. Alright, we have... I can defeat this guy, I can... So I got two tainted fights I can do. I can do another skirmish. Let's take care of the skirmishes first. And if I cannot... And I, then I'll, I'll go ahead and I will also try... The, uh, the, the fights. And if I simply can't do it, then I simply can't do it. We'll wait until a later time. Oh, um, apparently I gotta go into Drylands for that, so I'm gonna do that when I actually get access to my airship, so... I might do a couple more side quests when I progress the story and I get my airship, so... Just to let you guys know a little bit. Uh, so okay, fine, we'll hold off on that. And yeah, come on. So fine, we'll try the, um... 45 and 46, alright. Defeat Skirch. Whatever his name is. Where is he? Okay. Uh, was there a... There was not a trip door there. Really? I thought there was. I could have sworn I had a trip, trip door there. So be it. We'll just go to Evermore and sail right, right across. And, and here, I, I understand why, like... I'm sure I could just easily do whatever quick cutscene it is with the, um, the, the airship, and then I was like, hey, you got the airship, now you can fly anywhere. But I guess it's like, I'd rather reserve all, like, story-related, uh, content with, to the videos, you know? Like, I, if, I, if I can do any side quests, I'm focusing on a side quest, and that's that, you know? Listen, I, I do things weird, if you guys can't tell. It's like, oh, I'll do it this way, blah, blah, blah. But we all have our playing styles. This is just how I do it. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's many LPs of this game out there where a person, he probably doesn't even do the side quest, or maybe he does a few. Which is probably a good idea, because it's like, this is a lot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is like, these past three videos have been like over an hour each, and I've, all I've been doing is just fighting boss fights, and it's like, or, uh, side quests and all that, and it's like, is that what you guys want? Maybe not. 
But it's like, you know what? My... I guess my understanding of it is, or like the way I kind of validate it per se, is there's a video every day, or at least there's a video every other day of this or some other game that I'm doing now. And it's like, you know, at least that's, you know, you guys are getting multiple videos a week. Uh, and then you, you, if you guys don't want, like today's episode or something, there's, an, there's one tomorrow. So, uh, before I do this, because he does look scary, um, I will save. <laughs> and actually, I guess it will be this late save slot, I guess? Yeah, actually, yeah, definitely. See, I haven't saved since I started Chapter 7, so... There you go. This is gonna be fun. He's level 45, so... No. Uh -oh. This is the area in which Kent's Memolith was stolen from him, is it not? Hey! Wait! That voice! Uh... High density clusters, pure energy core, tough to extract, excellent weapons grade. Hmm. That's Kent's voice. This must be the monster that stole his memolith. Oh, I thought it was like a demented something. Great! Then this is our chance to get it back. We need to be careful though. It's been infected by that awful darkness. Indeed so. But we have no choice but to engage it. Prepare yourselves. Yay. Alright, so first things first. Okay. Oh my god, you are huge! Ow! So I have a. F oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, don't you dare. I was like, don't die on me now. I just keep utilizing that, at least give him the. I totally whiffed on that last one. I was really hoping I'll get him down the uh, half health, but... Man, this thing actually is... It's kind of scary, actually. I should have Evan heal up. Oh god, oh god! Not gonna lie, I am a little afraid here. Not gonna lie to you guys. His attacks are like so fast, and I totally whiffed on that damn blade. Damn it. It's like I'm close, but not really. Come on. How's everyone doing so far? Decent. Oh, nice. Okay, good job, Evan. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's gonna come here. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh. I guess I could jump and hit him, but... I'm afraid! Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. See, that's what I was afraid of. Like, if I just make one stupid-ass mistake, boom, I'm screwed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. I was kind of hoping I have the Higgledies do something. Can I just shoot him? <laughs> cheap, but I did it. It was a very, very cheap way to do it, but I did it. <laughs> I was worried, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he had a songbook on him. Okay. And the spell, spell power sweller. And Kent stole a memolith. We have the memolith. Although I'm somewhat mystified as to the value of its contents, having heard them. Let's take it back to Kent, shall we? We better be careful not to have it blurt out its secrets by accident like the monster did. Woo! Alright, that was, uh... That was scary, but... I, I, it's, it's all good. So the other one is... This one seems bad. 
I have a feeling this one's going to be really bad. Because it's, it's level 46, apparently. And we we saw that the, the, mon the bot monsters or bot enemies have been pretty hard on me, but we'll see. Where the hell is Powder Keg Cavern, anyway? Apparently... Wait, I'm confused. Well, where the hell is it? Oh. Do I... Hmm. I have an idea. So I haven't really... Once again, I haven't really explored Broadleaf at all. So... I don't know the areas around it. I don't know how to navigate. But I'm thinking... Like, if there's a way I can get up this mountain... Oh, these are different enemies. Pork... Skewer? Wyvern Warlord. It's actually what we just fought. And... Oh, it's a Thog! That's great. He was once a boss fight. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this... Until I get my airship. Until I utilize the airship. I don't know why the hell I just, I just haven't done it yet. Fathomless Forest as well? Uh, you know... I'm just gonna go in here. See if I can activate a trip door. Or just so I can have it on my map. Like, hey, there's a place here. Um... Doesn't seem to be anything just yet. I'll take a look how the enemies are. If anything, they're it's probably a uh Watch your back. Probably a dreamer door in here. Which is good to know. I mean I feel I have a feeling it's gonna be like the last side quest I'm gonna do. And like it's like screw just screw screw the doors. You know, like I I don't need to do them really, unless I want to get that one citizen, but I'll worry about that later. Oh, there's a tainted monster in here, that's why. Well, I took care of the other ones. What, where, what's your level? Yeah. Should have saved. I'm regretting it now. But, uh, we'll see. Stop. Here goes. Okay, we're, we're okay. Got away, got away for it does something. All right. All right, that was easy. <laughs> the good thing about those types of enemies, they, it's pretty easy to telegraph their, their attacks. So, hmm, not too bad. I, was, I didn't come in here planning on that, but, uh, I'll take it. It's a weird little hole for no reason there. Loonicorn? Okay. So, I don't know. Anytime now I think of freaking corn or on the cob of anything, good old Rick and Morty is all I think of. Think of. And I haven't even seen all of chapter, or excuse me, season three. I barely saw episodes in season three, and it's like, oh man, that's I'm super far behind. I totally missed the hell you wanted. So I was too busy talking. Fur, fluffy and warm and posh like. Fluffy, warm, posh like. Hmm. Well, see, I don't know. We'll try Fearless and Fine, but... Because I have a lot of both of those, but I'm kind of doubting I have it. This one, because it says Regal? Okay. And Fine seems too... plain. But I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'm r I really don't care about the... the... Oh, that, it was a Fine one, okay. The Higgle, these are like the... The aspect of the game I really don't care about, unfortunately. It's, um... 
And I, I just don't know why. Maybe because it, it reminds me of the familiars, and I... You know, I'll be honest. Oh, boy. You know, I'll be honest, like, the, uh... I, I wasn't a big fan of the familiars in the first game, and I know that's like, like that was like a damn purpose of the first game. Like, uh, like wait, that was the fight style. Like, it was like Pokemon, and it's like once I got used to it, it's fine. But it wasn't, it was not my absolute favorite system or combat system, and that's why it's like uh, it was frustrating for me, kind of. But I like the game style, I like the story, I like the uh, atmosphere, and that's what kind of stuck me, or uh, kind of kept me going along in the game. Ow. Uh, but in terms of actual fighting and all that, it was hit and miss. I think it was hit and miss for a lot of people, actually. Like, some people said, like, they loved it, some people said they hated it. Um, like, people were, like, just very split on whether they liked or hated the, uh, the fighting in, in the game. Um. And I think it's just a matter of... It, obviously, it's a matter of preference. Uh... You know, if you don't like it, you don't like it. I mean, it, it, take, it takes time, man. Like, if you put in the time and effort, I'm sure it'll be, it's a great experience. And I'm sure, like, you can come up with the greatest combos and the greatest combinations of uh, familiars to use, but I guess I wasn't really one of them, I guess, who utilized that, so. <sighs> All right, so let me, I'm going to take one last look here at the quest I got. So, Dream Doors. I'm leaving till later. Uh, I have no idea. This Rose Hip Tart, absolutely no idea. I even gave Floyd the recipe book that I got from Broadleaf. Not in there. So it's like, I don't know if Ding Dong Dell has it, or is this something I do, like, maybe it's like a post-game quest? I don't know, but I'll, I'm thinking if it was a post-game thing, why the hell did it give it to me now? So I don't know. This one, I need the, uh, I need the airship. I need the airship. And I have no idea where the hell this is it. I need the airship. And Dream Prisms, I'm hoping I have have them eventually. So let's go ahead and go to Kent, and then I'm going to go to Kenmore, or excuse me, Evermore. And uh, I'll call it an episode. And in, next, and in the next video, we'll actually start utilizing the airship. We'll actually be doing some story. Some. But then I got other quests I want to do, because you know I can reach them now. <laughs> So, yeah, I just hope you guys are okay with me dealing with this, you know, or okay with me, uh, handling the game that I am, like, like I am. The monster stole my memolith over near a crawl space cave. You have to get it back for me. All my data's on there. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> is that... Oh, you guys, it is! You brought back my memolith. And it still works, right? Oh, it definitely no. works. <laughs> well, in that case, you've earned your reward. I'll head on over to your kingdom ASAP. Wonderful. I look forward to seeing you there. Likewise, kid. Hey, next time you're at home, can you bring me some rocks to look at? I get kind of bored if I do. I can't do my thing, you know? Sure. So, mining camp. Okay. Oh, actually, that's good to have, uh... If I still need those dream prisms, I might as well put them there. All right. Cool. I am happy. We did... Oops. We did a good chunk in today's video. We, uh... Keep pushing around buttons, obviously. And, um... I mean, put a little dent in, in uh, terms of side quests. I mean, obviously there's still some I can't do because I need the, uh... The airship for, it seems like, but... I'm okay. It seems like some research has, research has been done. Uh, let's see what we got. Complete. Can I do anything else? I cannot. I actually need to keep upgrading my facility to do so. I want to use my money for other things if I can. Explorer's Guild, what the hell is he even doing here? Ultimate forging techniques. What is that? Uh, allows incredibly rare objects to be more easily spotted and recovered on land. Okay, I'll take that. And this one I don't really care for, because it's like, eh. I don't, really, I don't really go out of my way now to smash things, but... Research is research. I'll go ahead and let, let that go. 
This one is still going to take a little while, which is fine. This is practically done. Okay. Let's go ahead and build the... Ooh, that is not the right one I wanted to build. The multi-dimensional lab. And there's a few people I can put here to uh, start, you know, start getting some research done. So, in terms of research, a lot of these are just going to be like an extra upgraded uh, ability of what the dimensional lab, the regular one, did. So, uh, slows down the gauge, uh, get more, more orbs, locator, door detector. Okay, fine. So we got chip, and I guess we need these guys. I can't really do anything with just yet, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put them here because there's nothing they can do with the spell works. I forgot where the hell is Leander at? He might be at the cathedral, maybe. Actually, what is she doing? Cathedral as well. Uh, okay, and she's doing research, and I'm sure he's doing it too. Okay. Well, let's see if these two can do anything. I know there's a few people here that are not doing anything. Hubble Bubble, Hubble Bubble. I, sh I guess I should build the other one and uh, have them work there. In the meantime, I guess we do some research. Don't have enough IQ, huh? I can do this one. You're not going to stop me, game. Actually, before I forget, I'm going to put... Kent here. This is number five, right? Okay. Is there anyone else I can put in here? Hold on. They're all doing something. These other guys... Ah, oh, the bizarre. Bubble bubblery. All right. Oops. Let me check here. So did I get my prism? I did not. Still, damn. Well, I'm hoping now that I have two people there that eventually I'll I'll get it. I mean, I, what is this? An enigma prism. That sounds cool. Uh, special stones imbued with an air of mystery to amplify magical input. So in crafting, I guess. Um. I, you know, I can sell all these, too, if I really just wanted to. I just saw that option. No, well, we'll take them. So, actually, it doesn't even... Wait. Did I never do the Dream Prism thing yet? I thought I did. Hm, I guess not. Wow. Even though I didn't want to touch the money just yet, I, want, I wanted to get it... I wanted to let it build up fully, but I guess there's no point. I might as well, you know, utilize it. So, we got research going there. We'll build a Hyper Hubble Bubblery. Just sounds cool to say. It doesn't really look that hyper, but okay. Put some personnel in there, like uh, Tomas and that is Yep. Oh, because we did a Cauldron Sense over there as well. Uh, and then these people, they're not really doing anything. Lily, I guess I can, I can put there because she's not doing anything to spell works yet. Let me double check that. Uh, research. Yeah, I need to have. Um, I need to have freaking Leander be a master of his, his of his craft, and then I can learn at least one more thing there. But in the meantime, let's do some research. More money in battle. Hmm. Be a master of cauldron sense, and it's gonna take her a while to get there. So there's only one thing I can do. That's hedge magic. Okay. Well, you do that. And I, I mean, I have money, so it's like I could start building things. Or, oh, you know what? I probably should have waited. I probably should have waited to build until I finish that research because now it's cheaper damn so I waste a little bit of money there it's okay 
And, you know... I'm not sure what I want to do just yet. In terms of, like, building or research. I don't know if I can try doing that off-screen. Um... Because a lot of the stuff you guys have seen before, they're like, they're just upgraded versions of the ranches, and... And the mining camps, the hunting lodges, the bazaars, the fish markets. There's, like, no, like, really no... Like, absolute new awesome research facility. I think I built all those. And we can double check. I mean... Um... Like, so the hunting lodge, one through, uh, one through five, the mining camp, the bazaar, the fish market, the lumber yards, the farms, the ranches, the gardens. So it's like, you guys, I don't think you guys can really see me build those, because they're just there for item accumulation. So, I may do that off screen, but I may wait until my money is kind of more up there. So I may, I may have this game run a little bit longer. I'm done. I'm done recording for today. It's a very long episode once again. Uh, so I'm gonna stop recording for today. I'm gonna see if I can edit the videos, and while it's, while I'm editing, I'll just have this game run, and I'll continue get I'll continue to get some more money and items. I don't see why not. <laughs> so I'll do that, and in the next episode, guys, we'll finally kinda. Start progressing with the story a little bit, and once I get when I once I get full access to the airship, more side quests, just a little bit, and then more story. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Nino Kuni 2: Revenant Kingdom. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.